good morning third class children now i am explaining for you max unit 6 children division in the class also i explained okay again i am giving for some work for you you have to do children properly you have to read it all this one then say this uh, you have to learn the divisions you will be perfect in tables then only will be getting the division okay children now in the example see example hey table when you are getting 56 8 7 56 what is the 8 8 is the divisor and 7 the 56 is the dividend and 7 is the quotient okay children then 8 Seven ja fifty six. Okay, children. Are you know no eight table? If you perfect, you will getting eight seven ja fifty six. We have to write one more time fifty six and fifty six minus fifty six zero. Children, that zero the remainder we call it. That name is remainder. Then the division part. How many parts you will get? Divisor, dividend, quotient. and remainder children okay we also noted that dividend is equal quotient into divisor quotient into divisor what is the quotient 7 7 quotient is the 7 and what is the divisor 8 8 into 8 means 7 8 ja dividend we will get this 56 we will get children okay are you understood now we will move for another sum children one more sum we have to in the eight table only 61 they gave dividend they uh, divisor eight only then 61 is getting in the six uh, eight table no no children we have to search in the back number back of the 61 number means before number we have to search which we will get in the eight table before number 56 we will get Okay, when we will fifty six. Okay, we will get eight seven ja. We have to write fifty six. No, sixty one minus fifty six. We have to do children. Okay, sixty one minus fifty six. Then we have to one is subtracted to six. No, we have to cut this one six and write five and write this eleven. Okay, cut this six. And write the five and one. We have to write then eleven minus six. We will get five. That is the remainder. And five minus five will get the zero. Okay, five minus five we will get zero. So then zero we don't write. Only we have to write the eleven minus six five remainder. We will get zero. And this part eight is the divisor and seven is the quotient and. Uh, 61 is the dividend and 5 is the remainder children again we have to check we see that 61 is equal 7 into 8 plus 5 remainder also we have to do children then we will get then dividend is equal quotient into divisor plus remainder okay are you understood children See now, when the remainder is zero, we have dividend two formulas. If remainder is something, we have to add it. Okay, if dividend quotient into divisor only. If when remainder is zero, then this dividend is equal quotient into divisor. Are you clear, children? In this only, we have to remember, children. This or note, we have to write dividend is the number which is divided. Okay. Now divisor is the number with which we divide. Our next one quotient is the result we get in division. Our next when remainder is zero, we say the dividend is exactly divisible by by the divisor. Next division on the number line division. On the number line, how much is fifteen divided by three children? Now division on the number line. How we have to do? See in the previous classes in the classroom, I explained for you addition on the number line, subtraction on the number line, and multiplication on the number line. Now I am explaining for you. See division on the number line. Okay. See first we have to write the one line. We Line 
the line we have to draw and after equal distance equal distance we have to write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all till 15 children next what is that one 15 divided by 3 the 15 divided by 3 children we have to we have to do it 0 2 uh, 3 see 1 2 3 1 time and 3 2 time and 3 time 4 and 5 time when we will get 3 5 is a 15 3 5 is a 15 now st uh, the starting from 15 in how many jumps of 3 steps each can reach 0 5 that is 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 steps we will get children okay are you understood children now property of properties of division these properties of division this let us consider the following examples now example one one seven ja, it will get only one seven only one seven ja, seven only so seven divided by seven is equal one seven divided by this is a divided by sign no children yes this is the division sign 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1 and 1 into 23 is equal to 23 and so 23 divided by 23 is equal to 1 okay then when a number is divided by the same number the quotient is always one children okay this you have to read it just you read it and next Next example, see 1, 8, 8 only and so 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8 and 1 into 25 is equal to 1, 25 is a 25, so 25 divided by 1 is equal to 25. When a number is divided by 1, the quotient is equal to the given number. When a number is divided by 1, the quotient is equal to the given number number okay are you clear children now let us third example we have to learn 3 into 0 is equal 0 only whenever we multiply to any number to 0 you will get 0 only product will be 0 only 11 into 0 0 only so 0 divided by 3 is equal 0 only and 0 divided by 11 also 0 only okay children now let us learn this this also say next point this when 0 is divided by any number the other than 0 the quotient is 0 children okay now next let us learn for example 4 0 divided by 8 is equal to 0 is a divisor fact but we cannot get 0 divided by 0 is equal to 8 are you understood children if 0 divided by 0 you will not get a 0 divided by 0 is 8 but this is not getting we therefore cannot divide a number by 0 so 0 divided by 0 is meaningless okay what is this 0 divided by 0 meaningless in fact we cannot divide any number by 0 divisor by 0 is not defi defined children okay we can i am giving exercise all for you you have to write children in the class work uh, uh, otherwise you write in the textbook only all whatever work i am giving are you this all you have to write in the workbook children when you have textbook no take out your textbook and all whatever work i am giving for you you have to write in the textbook okay read properly and write we use the symbol plus for division process plus we are using no no we are using plus for addition this is the division they are asking fall second one division is a repeated subtraction yes division is a repeated subtraction okay next the number that is divided is called the divided yes children okay true this all you have to read properly neatly clearly then you have to fill it children first one yeah all clearly statement you have to read and fill it children okay understood this one also examples i explain for you know like that we have to do it this one 
and this work also you have to do see in the sixth what is the dividend what is the divisor they are asking quotient i gave the answer for you you have to see properly and i sent for pick also you have to do uh, uh, write down in the textbook children okay clear are you clear children first bit you have to write second bit you have to write third bit fourth bit and fifth bit we have to write children okay children if you have any doubt call to me i will clear your doubt and if you have the income to school also individually i will explain for you children okay thank you children